I think, I'll tell you what I think it is. It's the language barrier. I mean, we, you think that in the British Isles, we, you, you go 30, 40 miles, and, and it's a different language, isn't it? And it gets worse, of course, when you get people coming over to this country from countries that are supposedly English-speaking. Now, I know we don't have any Americans in tonight. Do we? <laughs> and I wouldn't, in either case, stand here and poke fun at a trusted ally that fought beside us in the latter stages of two world wars, <laughs> because... Well, I think it's fair. <laughs> I tell you what, it's a good job they were two years late for the last war, isn't it? Because if they'd have got there on time, there'd be none of us left by the time Jenny got around. <laughs> Bloody hell. I know. But, uh, I mean, is that or not the last thing you want to hear when you're crawling back through the deserts in Iraq, in Iraq, after you've been ambushed, and all of a sudden, out of the darkness, you hear... Who goes there, a friend or a foe? You're really going to have to think about that answer, aren't you? <laughs> hey? And this is, this is a stand up got me. We was that bloke out in South Africa. He's an accountant, retired from Bristol. And the FBI decided he was an international criminal and locked him up for eight. The same FBI in charge of tracking down and identifying Al Qaeda suspects. <laughs> no, I think anybody with a beard should be worried. Now, really. <laughs> You know, I mean, anybody working in Tyrak, any, anything like that, you know. <laughs> well, when you, you think about it. <laughs> no, you imagine being interrogated there. No, I said, I said I live in a terrorist house. You fool. <laughs> no, I'm a tourist. I said tourist. But um, having said that, no, uh, I, I think that what they've done to our language I mean, when you think about it, Oscar, no, it wasn't Oscar Wilde, said, it's usually Oscar Wilde, isn't it? You know, because usually if you get a quiz question, who said, just for Oscar Wilde, that, it's going to be him anyway. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine what a pain that must have been going out for a night's drinking with Oscar? You were oh, crying out loud, Oscar, shut up. <laughs> it, it was George Bernard Shaw that said, we are two nations divided by a common language. And this is so true. Isn't it? We say um, pavement, and they say, sidewalk and we say bonnet and they say hood and we say negotiate and they say bomb the bastards it's just a bunch of followers <laughs> <laughs>